Won't you come and talk with me? Make sure you bring your tea. We can talk about movies. Hello and welcome to the first ever seasonal tea breaks. Christmas! Yay! Yeah. Guys, you're on the naughty list. Thanks for being so enthusiastic. Um, not only is it the first ever seasonal tea breaks, it is the first ever more than one person tea break. So uh, this is <laughs> my tea break. <laughs> it is full of news around the Christmas season. Um, as you all know, we, we just like to get together with friends and talk about films. Uh, here with my guests are two of my oldest and most dearest friends, Mr. Dean Hillary and Mr. Philip Murphy. You got one oh. hand. And uh, we're all Christmas mm. up. Well, well yeah. maybe more. Yes. Christmas jumpers. I'll just, I'll just hide. <laughs> yeah. you, uh, so obviously we always ask the first question is what are you drinking and what are your sides? But Murphy's already shown off his horrible Christmas sides. Fig Big. rolls. Oh, Big rolls. I don't mind them. I don't mind them. But no, they're good. amazing. So um, where, well, I got a cup of tea today in my... Uh, my ah. it's not even mine, but we'll, we'll take it. It's it goes with your jumper, sir. Yeah, and also I went for some just Oreos. <laughs> I'm actually jealous. Um, so I've got my tea in my R2G2 mug, and the reason why is because it was a Christmas present from my housemates in Liverpool. So I'm still keeping my Christmas theme. Um, we were meant to film this last week, so I had chocolate coins with me, and I was ready to like and shower. You yeah, of course I have. It's been a week, man. So I've got whatever treats were in my... I've got <laughs> strawberry pencil laces. In my my, uh, my advent calendar, I've, I've got about six days to open on that. <laughs> no. I've, I've, not open, I've not opened mine in the past seven days since I've yeah. been back here. Um, literally one second. So this is my... I've got two advent calendars. Um, i got my dairy milk one from the Palm Store. Oh, Yummy. Oh, I and then Harriet got me a Pringles one. So uh, oh, it has it? mini boxes of Pringles in, but it only goes to 12 days. So you're meant to I eat one. I assume you haven't got one to open now. Um, what's the date? The 12th. Yee! Yeah, I've got the 12th. 13th. 13th. I, uh, I knew that. I haven't opened yeah, the 12th. Have look. No way, that's pretty cool. How deep that's is it? <laughs> it's huge. Turn on this side. Oh. I've, wait, I didn't open the 8th either, because I'm a terrible person, I'm, I skipped the 8th. So on the 8th we had <laughs> some salt and vinegar. I do have two... Mate, that must no, be so expensive. 12. They're about, they're about, oh, four, quid, they're about four quid each in the shops. Oh, well, so basically I was meant I to eat one food. every other day, but because um, we're being naughty, I opened one every day. <laughs> and just ate all my fingers. I've uh, got a one. Which has twenty four cans of beer in it. Twenty four cans of beer. Yeah, beer a day. <sighs> beer a day. You don't even drink, do you? No, it's Ben, his brother. Oh, okay. Right, sorry. So let's let's start off with our Christmas themed tea breaks. So we're gonna, you know, TBWD, and I actually I kind of want to answer the questions as well. This 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 time around, it's a Christmas time for giving. So question one: uh, Who wants to answer first? We can happily rotate is you didn't ask me what i was drinking by the way oh well you don't deserve it because you had fig rolls <laughs> what are you drinking phil <laughs> earl grey tea <laughs> oh, not really just drinking yorkshire tea but i finished it now <laughs> uh so question one dino what is the best christmas film stupid question nightmare before christmas and i'll tell you why because it's not only good at Christmas, it's good at Halloween. No. Twice it's good. Beautiful. I've never seen it. Full of songs. You've never seen it. No. Murphy. I mean, I'm sorry, I haven't. How, I, I'm he, almost, he's joshing right now, isn't he? I've no, spoken to people who've never seen E.T., but I give the same reaction. I I have you never seen Nightmare Before Christmas? I've just, it's just never been on my list of things to watch what can you put on your list it, it doesn't pop up on netflix like suggested for you i'd probably watch it 
but you meant to watch it like years ago. Like, oh, yeah, I'm you've had stunned. 31 years, eh? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe not 31. Can't remember when it came out. 93, 94, I want to say. That right, that era. Um, yeah, you need to watch it. Beautiful. Murphy, missing out on amazing songs. Is it a long film? Animation. Not really. Hour and 20, I would have said, yeah. in my head. Yeah, yeah. yeah I might watch it. What's yours then, Phil, if you haven't seen that before Christmas? Yeah, what's Home Alone. Like? The um, 1991. Fair enough. Um, okay, that's not very nice. Um, we all know that's that's my favourite Christmas film, but uh, Gordon Murphy, <laughs> please explain why Home Alone is the best Christmas film. Um, I just think it just shows the importance of family, and obviously forgetting your kids as well, which I don't understand how he can possibly get on a plane and forget a child. But it's just, I think just the whole story is trying to get back to, you, to his kid. Uh, it's kid. probably something I'd think you would do. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'd leave my child accidentally? <laughs> I'll probably put my, I'll everyone probably in that group. Like... <laughs> <laughs> right. I just want to defend this, and I just want to say it would never happen today because of scary jacks. But back then, there was no scary jacks, and they just rushed no, through. I think didn't they just leave him leave him at home? They didn't even get to the airport with him. Well, te- lots of things lead up for him to be left at home. So his ticket gets thrown in the bin from. once the coke and milk gets spilled all over their side because he wants a cheese pizza. So there's a less extra ticket there that they don't realise. And then the mum leaves it to the oldest daughter to count and there's the little kid who's rummaging for all the toys. So she counts him as Kevin. So when she tells the mum, yeah, we've got everybody, nobody ever checks anything and obviously they're in a bit massive rush. So it, it checks out. It checks these out. days, these days, they'd probably be thrown in prison for neglect. <laughs> Maybe. And he'd be put off for adoption. But then you wouldn't have all the camaraderie of, uh, this is my house, I have to defend it. Um, okay, so considering Murphy's pretty much stole my idea and gone with Home Alone for the best Christmas film, I'm going to say Home Alone 2. And I do generally think Home Alone 2 is better than Home Alone 1. The, the great thing about Home Alone is <clears throat> either one, one or two, they're both great. Yes, yes. Like, normally you get a sequel and it's terrible, but they're both great. But Further than that, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Shrek 1 and 2, that's another example of them both being great, I would say. Um, but Home Alone 2 is better because obviously New York is more of a setting that we know. And there's just there's just more going on. And the, the, like, the fight against the wet slash sticky bandits is longer. Like in the first one, it's really fun, but it's really short, if, if it makes sense. Like yeah. the whole film builds up to that, where in number two, I feel like you know it's coming. So they've extended it just by like an extra five, ten minutes. Oh, oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. So I'm glad I'm glad we've all picked good films that we like. But you know, it's two V one Dino. Home Alone beats uh Nightmare Before Christmas, just saying. I will watch it though, Dean. Can you yeah, but Home Alone and Halloween doesn't have the same feel to it. Um I don't I don't like watching Halloween because it's not a Halloween film. It is a Halloween film. No. It's also it's a Christmas night- film. It's Nightmare Before Christmas. It's in the title. It's a Christmas It's Nightmare film. Before Halloween. It's not Nightmare Before Halloween, okay? And the Halloween characters, they finish Halloween in the first five minutes. It's over and done with, right? You can watch the first five minutes and then, oh, hey, look, Halloween's done. Then it's Christmas. Where they come from, every day is Halloween, so that just makes no sense. No, 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 no. No, it's not, because they build up for every Halloween. They build yeah, up just... They Shut up! Right. I can't call it, I've not watched it. Um, yeah, no, you need to put that in your watch list this Christmas. <laughs> do, I have to, do, do I have to cover like, any advertising? <laughs> no idea, mate. I've got, I've got Tesco's out, so maybe not. Sponsored by Buxton Water. <laughs> this water is really good. <laughs> um, so we'll go to you once you've finished your drinking, because we weren't Dino first. Uh, best use of a Christmas song in a film, Murphy? Um, so, Home Alone again. The first one, rocking around the Christmas tree. Whereabouts is it used in the film? <laughs> when they're dancing around the Christmas tree. <laughs> He's butchering my favourite film. Butchering. I can't actually remember. Which part was it? Would you like me to remind you? Yeah, you remind me. Remind oh, me. I've got to remind me. Isn't it? Oh, is that even not there? Isn't it when he's faking it out? Or is it not that part? Yeah, me, yeah. So that part. Well, and the bad guys are driving past. The bad guys are driving past, and he pretends that the house is all um, that was it, yeah. filled with his family. 
So he's got, he's got Michael the, Jordan on the like train. That. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. This is why I need to watch it again. When's the last time you watched it? Probably 1990. <laughs> You're a bad human. Bad I don't human. Know, mate. Probably a long Would time ago. Watch, have you watched a different Christmas film since then? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I actually watched. What was it? The, I think I put in the group chat the other day what I watched on Netflix. Um, I want to know if you guys have actually watched it. Just a quick wiggle. Jingle Jangle. Jingle Jangle. No. Oh, is that Al or no? Al no. It's got some very famous actors in it. Let me just remind you. Just read down the Google list quickly. It's got. Uh, you should know off the top of your head, Phil. This Forrest is Whitaker. insane of you. Sorry. Forrest, Whit Forrest Whitaker. Yeah. Keegan Michael Key. Who? He's in. Um, he's oh, only down DB. I'm so bad. You click on his DB. name and I'll tell you what other films he's yeah, been yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, he's in. This guy. Oh, he's in. Let's be the cops. Oh, let's be cops. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, and he's in sure. Keanu. I don't know. Okay, yeah. we'll move on to Dino's answer. Dino. Um, best use of a Christmas song. Yeah, a, a Christmas song for, in a film. Yes. Yeah, I've gone for um, the scene in Love Actually. Jump on my love. It's just oh, so... oh, really? You've gone for that one? Okay. Yeah, we've well, gone for a different one. I was thinking um, the drummer, the little boy is a drummer. And you, and, and, you. Yeah. and he's like face turns and he's like all happy and then he's like really <laughs> sad and mad. I thought that's what I you were going for. Job, actually. No, I, went for, I went for the other one because it's just so funny how you could see like a prime minister in his like private home jumping around and dancing like that and then you just turn and he's just so casual so <laughs> it's so good yeah. <laughs> we move the uh, japanese prime minister to the thursday end too <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh we watched that film too many times yes we have together as well which is even worse um no it's not what are you talking about it's our christmas film how dare you yeah all right. you mm. cuddle when you watch it as well shut up phil just because we're not watching home alone with you um we didn't yeah, cuddle up together, but we definitely laid on a bed in, in an attic together to watch it. What? <laughs> um, yeah. So my best use of a Christmas song, and I, I'm using Elf, and I'm trying to think. It's not like a traditional Christmas song like Guns Out the Charts, but it's it's the Christmas song of like you better not, you better not cry. I'm telling you blah, why. Blah, 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 blah. Santa is coming to town. Yeah. It's not a traditional song, as in like what we all used. Is to. Is that when he's singing it with his missus? No, no, no. So it's right at the very end. Santa's crashed in New York, I believe, in like Central Park somewhere. Yeah. And yeah, they have to get the motor running. So to get it up, they need the Christmas cheer to go up, and everyone needs to believe. So and the like, guy who doesn't believe in Christmas has to then yeah. sing. So, so, we, so we just know yeah. start singing on like national TV and then loads of people join in. And it does loads of cuts of like a little kid in bed and um, the the people that work at the store, they all start singing. And then he's like, Dad, you're not singing. You don't really truly believe. And then his dad proper belts out. <sighs> the sleigh goes over. It's quality. It's like a the feel good moment of like using Christmas songs correctly in film. Personally, that is my answer. Your opinion. Have you watched Elf recently? I've watched it last year, but yeah. I want to watch it again before Christmas. I do Rewatch like it. Elf is a is a is a Christmas classic which I absolutely love. Um so we'll go to, to Dean. No, we'll go to me. We'll, we'll start with me for this one. We'll go keep, we'll go around. Most underrated Christmas film. I'm going to use a miracle on thirty fourth street. And I'm going to use the 1994 version, because there's an old black and white version which nobody's ever heard of or ever watched. It is The Charm of Matilda, because it's the same actress, okay, meets Christmas, and it's the best representation of a Santa I've ever seen in a film, right? It's Richard Attenborough, Dave Attenborough's older brother, he's in Jurassic Park, and he's Santa, and then there's the, the one scene which I always point out to everybody is he's Santa and loads of kids are sitting in his lap, and then one puts a kid on his lap. And she's deaf, and um, he's well, he knows. yeah, yeah. And his mum, her mum's like, oh, she doesn't, 
she can't speak. She just wanted to see you, like Santa Claus. And he starts talking to her, and and it just reminds you, like Christmas is for everybody, not just for like, you know. I didn't ever think of that. Like people who are deaf, how would they maybe be affected by Christmas? They wouldn't ever hear Christmas songs. So it just made me all happy. <laughs> it's an underrated Christmas movie. Um, so depending on who I go on next, depending on who gets the answer, I think. Uh, go for, for Dean. <laughs> Dino, you know, what's the most underrated Christmas film? Die Hard. <laughs> and I agree, 100%. <laughs> so if I went to Murphy, I think he would have got that last one, I meant. Ah, oh, right, yeah, definitely. It's, everyone has this argument if it's a Christmas movie or not, and for that reason, it's like, yeah, it's underrated, because that percentage of people that don't agree, they're not giving it its full potential. But saying that, Bruce Willis himself, when he did his own roast, he literally at the end said, I did this for one reason, one reason only, to say that Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. So it came from his mouth himself that it's not a Christmas Ooh, movie. All right. Well, but it's an action, mil- action movie set around Christmas. So would you count as a Christmas yeah. movie? To be fair, the only thing Christmas here about is, is it's on Christmas Eve. <laughs> no, but there's a little bit. But- yeah. I've got a machine gun, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, but that's just because it's Christmas time. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so and, I, use, and use three yeah, words. I still watch, <laughs> watch it every year at Christmas time. It just feels better at Christmas, I don't know why. Mm. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. So, Murphy, do you have a answer for most underrated Christmas film? Or are you just going to I'm use gonna go your... I'm Die Hard as well, because, yeah, Not the last same one. reasons. Same reasons. Do you, you not want to add anything, Murphy? No. I'm glad on our first ever trio tea breaks, <laughs> we have such it's, it's, riveting guests though, with their own answers. It's, I find it hard to discuss underrated movies or anything underrated because obviously it's your own opinion and I've had to have watched loads of Christmas movies to have an input and I don't watch that many different ones, I just watch the same ones year in year out. Okay, uh, yeah, I agree with your point. Um, so to help you, to help add an extra answer in here, I'll throw, um, um, oh my god, I can't, I can't even think of it. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Turbo Man. Yeah, Jingle All The Jingle Way. All the Way, right? Now, the reason why I'll add that in the underrated list is because not a lot of many people talk about it. And when, when people talk about Christmas films, they throw out, like, you know, the big hitters. We've spoke about Die Hards and, and Home Alones already and even Elfs and, you know, people talk about Christmas stories. There's Scrooges, there's loads of them. Um, nobody ever talks about Jingle All The Way, even though it is hilarious. I think, anyway. Uh, I, I watched it recently, like, a few years back, and I quite enjoyed it. Hmm, it's just... I think the, uh, the reindeer scene is very, very funny. Where it punches a reindeer. Um, there's loads, there's loads to really enjoy. Um, again, it's a nice, feel good movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't think I've seen it either. You've not seen Jingle All The Way? No. Mate, he's right, listen. Oh mate, his son. I must have done one else. I must have done one else in there. Yeah, his, his son wants a Turbo Man toy. It's like an action sold video, and it's sold out because it's the most popular toy. My mum always says like, that's the closest to Buzz Lightyear she's ever seen in a film because it was just that manic. Like, there's no Buzz Lightyear around. So it used to happen in the nineties, and parents could relate to it. Yeah, it's quality, mate. Jingle all the way. I'll have to watch that as well. Yeah, so I think it's also got the Big Show for you wrestling fans out there. You know. Just a little little tip. Um, we'll move on. Murphy, go on then. Last question. Funniest scene in a Christmas film? Elf. Elf. Uh, and it's the bit when he's out doing the Jack in the Box. What? It scares him. You've not seen it? Yeah, of course I've seen Elf. Yeah, so it's Jack, the, Jack in the Jack in the Box testing he's doing. Oh! <laughs> yeah. And he's like... And he just... You really so really yes. silly, like... I'm looking at it. Okay. All the bit where, all the bit I think we were talking about earlier when uh, he's in the store, as he's working there. The bloke's like, oh, we've got an announcement to make. He's like, just let you all know that 10 a.m. tomorrow, Santa's coming. He's like, oh my God! <laughs> Santa! Yeah. <laughs> um, the one, I think, the th- I don't know why, the thing in Elf that tickles me, honestly tickles me so much, is where he runs and jumps into the tree. He like starfishes yeah. if on the or he jumps off the sofa and starfish onto the tree and the tree just falls. I just it tickles me every year I watch it and I just I think about him who just wants to do that. Uh go on then, we'll go back to Dino. Uh funniest scene in a Christmas film. 
So uh, have you watched The Night Before yet? Uh, I watched it with you years ago when you lived in Borough at uni. It's... Are you sure? Because when I mentioned it, you hadn't heard of it. Yeah, I, d I didn't know what that was called. It's we, right. we definitely watched it because I had a guess that the guy that's around is a... I don't want to give spoilers that anyone hasn't watched it. Is Michael Sheen? Is Michael Sheen's character? Is that his name? What film are you on about? I'm on about um, where they go to a Chinese every year because his parents have died, and the Chinese Michael places are only. Is, right? is it Michael Shannon? Yeah, he keeps I'm popping up. I'm trying to think. Is he in that film, Michael Sheen? Is that what? Yeah, it's Michael yeah. Shannon. The guy. Yeah, he's drugged you. Yeah, um, yeah, and I, I, I had a guess. I told you my ish guess when we watched it, and you were like, well, "We have to go and find out." And I was like, "Oh, I've got it." Otherwise, you'd have said no. <laughs> yeah, we watched it back. So basically, uh, it's the scene when he's in the church, and he's obviously <laughs> his girlfriend's given permission to like she gave him basically a little treat box full of drugs. It's a classic sprinkle of Seth Rogen on a Christmas film. So it's basically him just tripping out at church and. <laughs> <laughs> seeing shit and then he ends up getting up and spewing down the aisle and then like running away saying uh, Jesus we did not kill him <laughs> <Just rubbed off. laughs> proper like oh. pushing the border of what you could put in a Christmas film but it well, just yeah. it, it just chuckles me but I, I love Seth Rogen films and it's just his style of comedy it's, it's just brilliant in that way I really like it as well no I enjoyed it um it's there are lots of funny segments if I remember in that, and he's like throwing up, if not Seth Rogen in that film. Is it the church where he's throwing up or yeah, defecating? right down the middle aisle? He's like, which yeah, one yeah, like, that, 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 that had me in <laughs> chuckles. What films are? Do they know we're Jewish? And he's like, well, look at your jumper. It's like, Seth Rogen, uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt, and Falcon. Anthony oh, Mackie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another, another What's it called? I've the seen. Night Before? Yeah. 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 I hadn't seen it either. Um, we watched it. That must be only 2016. That's a lot hmm. um, I've only watched that once, though. So for me, I'm going to Home Alone 2. Okay. And you know I watch Home Alone every year, the first and second one. And it cracks me up every year. It is um, Marv being electrocuted, right? I don't it's know why. It, yeah, yeah high it, it, screaming. Yes, yeah, it's high pitch screaming. It just gets me. Like I just turn into like a five year old kid with little giggles and fits. And it's, just, when, it's when he actually goes like to a skeleton and a yeah. big game. <laughs> It just it goes up and up and his, his scream goes higher. So his scream is amazing, but it's just in that scene, it just gets so high and it just. Wonder what hot. Like in that scene. Yeah, it's. How many it, takes it took? Oh, it's amazing! It's amazing. So that's my funniest scene in the Christmas film. Um, there's plenty of others. I'm pretty sure loads of other people have got their own ideas. Would you be happy if the original characters, so Marv, what's the guy called again? Harry. 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 <laughs> uh, Marv, Harry, and obviously Macaulay Cook and Kevin. Would you be happy if them three came back and did a final movie? No. Yeah. No. 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 You won't be up for it. Um, I watched The Irishman with um, with him in, and he's really old now and really like whittled. And yeah, I, I, mean, I watched that as well. Yeah. It wouldn't be scary. <laughs> An old man trying to hook, break into your house, you'd just be like, just get off. Just get one, one more job before he kicks the bucket. There's a don't be wrong. There's, there's a way you could do it with those characters. Like he could be in prison. You could still have them in a really old people, and they've hired their like other con people who you could get somebody famous and nobody really likes. Who they've been in prison for like twenty years, but they've got out. Um, they've all got out together, and it's like right, you're, you're now the muscle, and I'm the brain, and then. Yeah, you could still do it, and instead of like trying to break into Macaulay Culkin's house or break anything, they're just after him because they just want revenge. And maybe what, Macaulay Culkin. What about it? They fl he flipped the table. It's basically they're old and frail now, and people are trying to burgle them on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> they hire Macaulay Culkin to booby trap their house. Job done, sorted. Right, let's get on with this. Yeah. Disney, get on the get on the blower. 
man. Right. Okay. Um, I just want to say thank you very much. Christmas is very much a time of spending together. So it's been nice to spend time together, even though Murphy... Not this year. <laughs> that's why this is more important. This is more Even though important. Murphy what? Even though Murphy's answers have been 50% mine, 50% Dino's. <laughs> just merged it together. We all have the same, we all have the same interests. Saying films he's never seen or... <laughs> Mate, I've, I've, actually, I've actually written down to go and watch these movies. <laughs> Which was fun. Jingle all the way. The night, the night before, Jingle all the way, and, and what's the one you said? Nightmare Before Nightmare. Christmas. Yeah, and I'll watch these over Christmas. And, and you didn't put Miracle on 34th Street, my answer. Do you know what I mean, bro? Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't yeah. pull that face, right? It's a beautiful Christmas film. Um, yeah, it was all right back in the day, but I wouldn't watch it again. Yeah, it's got heart and soul and it's... it's what's that one that everyone tends to watch? It's black and white, that I keep forgetting. Black and white Christmas movie. It. Yeah, and everyone complains I've never seen it. Um, I'm obviously not happy about this. Like you look like a a a, um, a geisha then. <laughs> well, that's what I'm going <laughs> for, isn't it? <laughs> I swear I didn't see your face. I go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm praying to you, sir. I'm praying. What's it called? I'm done having a look. Hang on. Wonderful uh, life. Right. Is it? It's yeah. a wonderful life. Yeah. yeah. I might check that out this year. But... Uh, you're not going to enjoy it because you don't have like this. It's like better when you're younger and you you know you believe everything in films. You as an old now thirty odd cynic who've watched films, you'll be like, "Nah, it's okay." Like, don't get me wrong, it's still nice, but it won't have the same. It's like somebody watching Star Wars as a thirty year old when you, instead of watching it as a, a kid and growing up with it. So, do you know that's the do difference? You know, do you know what I do with movies now? And same with Kim. I'll say like, "I want to go watch a movie," and then Kim's like, "Oh, has Dean seen it?" And I'll ask Dean if he says he doesn't like it. I probably won't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I should not yeah. do that because make your own mind up about your perspective of a film will be totally different to mine. The amount of people yeah. that, like play films that I've watched they shit and I watch it anyway and I enjoy it. You, you should it, watch them we have a couple movie. of films like that. We've done we've had a couple of arguments of films that we've both either hated or enjoyed and vice versa. Mar the Marvel one recently, wasn't there, that you two were discussing? Um Which one? Was it Black Panther? I'm sure that you, two of you both had like a disagreement on it. I don't know. I enjoyed it, man. I really liked it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. No, I think that. Good, but... Did we have an argument about Aquaman? Oh, oh, no, so you disliked it as well. Yeah, the, the, see, we do I, have similar tests, but there is, there is films. I, I definitely remember films that I've really disliked and you've loved. And I'm like. In Bruges is the, is the biggest one, I, if I can think of from the top of my head. You absolutely love it, and I'm like, I just don't get it. I just don't well, get you don't it, like right? it? No, nah, it's... It's a dark comedy, though. You just have to be on the, the right page. <sighs> Frame of mind. For it, yeah. Think, it, yeah. It, it did an Anchorman syndrome, where everyone had already watched it before me and hyped it up and said it was amazing, it was the best thing to watch, and everyone kept quoting it, bits and bobs. And when I went to sit down and watch it by myself, I was like, yeah, this is average. And like you guys all get you get giddy talking about it. And it just wasn't yeah, but the first time I watched it, I thought it was shit. But then I gave it another go, and it was like comedy yeah. genius, right here. Maybe, maybe. You need to go. You need to go watch Jingle Jangle though. If you like sort of like movies with lots of singing in it. Lots of so it's on. It's like on par with, like I don't want to say on par with the Greatest Showman because it's not. But it's that sort of like <laughs> singing. <laughs> oh, I like movies could, like that. Uh, Dino's had so much better than mine. But okay, so. Uh, I think we have two minutes to say uh, jolly goodbyes and a Merry Christmas. So is there anything that you'd like to say before we leave? Have a good Christmas, everybody. All yes. 20 of you that watched it. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Can we get five likes on this video for the next one? <laughs> just five yeah. likes. Don't forget I'll be one of them. So just four. I'll be two. Like, subscribe. <laughs> Okay. Uh, um, well, just two. Well, all three of us are like it. Just two likes. <laughs> I'm just so, going to plug my YouTube. I'm just going to plug my YouTube channel, Murph Ride. Go check it out. Murph Ride. Oh, oh, go on, Dino. Go on, Dino. Plug, plug your 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 YouTube channel as well. Bowers. They call me Bowers. Check it out. There's nothing new on there. Don't check it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, again, Merry Christmas. Thank you for having us. Uh, thank you for spending time yeah. with us. Um, nice to uh, everybody soon. Yes, I'm pretty sure everyone here would like yeah, to wish yeah. everyone viewer a Merry Christmas. So thank you very much and remember to enjoy your Bruce.
Bye. Bye. Bye.